solutions are springing up all around. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, coming to you on the very first day of spring out on the porch, and I had anticipated, you know, a big, sunny, beautiful first day of spring, but like a lot of things we anticipate and plan on, they don't always work that way. Just because you flip the page on a calendar doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to lickly split be okay, and it's all going to be sunshine and lollipops. But we do have Frankie out here. We do have our organic potting soil. We will be ready to start planting things for the spring. And again, just like, you know, I think we thought we'd flip the calendar on 2017 and all the badness of 2016 would go away. But of course, that's not the case and it's never that way. We gotta work towards the things we want and the things that we need. Frankie's gotta go, you guys. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. This is Good News Next Week, episode 46 for the week of March 20th, 2017. Again, this is listener-supported media. I've been online since 9-11-05, and it's all brought to you by you. And you can support our work at mediamonarchy.com slash support. It's been a couple weeks since we made a Good News Next Week episode. I just want to hit some of the ways that we are winning. And as we noted in the title, solutions are springing up all around. And we do have solutions-oriented news. Interesting thing happened this morning, as probably a lot of you saw this morning. The first thing you saw in the news was that old David Rockefeller had passed away. Now, of course, that's no one's going to miss him. But our buddy Kevin Rugford on Twitter, I think, made a good point. So David Rockefeller's dead. I thought he'd be overjoyed, but I have more important things to care about these days. And that's a great point. I think the man would probably love for us to revel in death on the first day of spring. And that's something that would be very much like the evil emperor that David Rockefeller resembles to yeah, give in to that dark side. They love that hate. We're not going to do it. We're going to continue to look for the positives. But, of course, he will not be missed. People are cutting the cord. As the 2016-2017 uh, TV season wraps up, Ad Age is reporting that uh, broadcasters hit new lows, just like we talked about on episode 300 of New World Next Week a couple weeks ago. People are turning off the TV and cutting the cord in massive numbers. We like to think in some way it's because of the alternative media, but that's just one small part of it. Everybody else is becoming energized and creating their own things, just like we'll get to here in just a moment. I've been talking about all those signs I see in my neighborhood, all the little kind of guilty white liberal signs. It's going down.org, the same website that brought the story about the Portland anarchist road care. They actually have an article about these tacky, tacky ass yard signs declaring total war on them. Now, while this can feed into a little bit more of divide and conquer, I was just looking forward to seeing somebody noticing the same thing I had been noticing and it's going down basically has PDFs that you can print up and you can slap on the face of those yard signs that basically say hey we've been fighting the empire for a long long time just because you guys have been asleep for the last eight years doesn't mean that we weren't keeping Obama honest about all the drone bombing and the puppet Bush before him so we'll, of course, include that in the show notes, just like everything we say and play is always included in the show notes. Our buddy Darren in Liverpool noted a uh, radio DJ from West Sussex is vying to become basically his eminent awesomeness, I forget what his ridiculous title would be, in a little tiny unincorporated Italian town. Minnesota truck driver's cat survived 400 miles clinging under a semi that sent out of KAL-TV, and we have a huge amount of friends and supporters up in Minnesota. Meanwhile, over in Chicago, a.k.a. Chirac, John Rappaport is point pointing out the positive. Yes, there is massive gang violence and sometimes seems like a breakdown of society in Chicago land. There's also a map of the a massive amount of city gardens, urban gardens, community farms that have been going on in Chicago. And again, that's the way that these things are going to happen. It's not going to happen by yelling and screaming against the things that you hate and constantly letting your enemies live in your head rent free. It's going to happen by actually, you know, putting your hands in the dirt, which studies show is actually beneficial and good for you. You need those minerals. Living Book Program offers chance to learn about cultures. Our buddy Eric Moshe points this story out from Baltimore. Living Book basically is a human that you can go to a Baltimore library and check them out and they'll tell you their 15 minute life story. And if you want to learn more about that, then they'll help you get a book off the shelf that then you can go take out like a normal book. But it's a face to face conversation with people. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, Uber for Tailors empowers local fashion industry. 
again, it's not about Napster, it's not about Uber, it's not about these sort of monolithic groups, it's about the idea, and it's about the decentralization, it's about the localization of these things. No one has to have the monopoly on this. You could start your own Uber for tailors. Oh, do you need something fixed? You need something sewn? I need a zipper fixed on my other hoodie. I wish I could do that. Do you know how to do that? I have, do I have to take it somewhere? These are the things we can all figure out for ourselves, and it's not necessarily going to be found online. It might be found with your actual neighbors living right next door. Speaking of neighbors, I was actually watching my neighbor's cat over the weekend, and I finally, after a couple of years of periodically looking at them on the cat, not regularly by any stretch of the imagination, I finally got this very reclusive cat to climb out, crawl out from under the couch and willingly come to me and let me pet her. I, I consider myself some kind of cat whisperer, but that, that was a huge note. And those are those little small things that you can do to actually meet and greet and make connections with your neighbors. Because if shit falls apart tomorrow, who the hell do you think you're either going to go to help for or might be worried that you they're your enemies? Some of the other new ways that people are making their own inventions, making their own way forward. A couple in Ireland, I believe, created a new safety alarm that they say is for female joggers. As loud as a rock concert. And it basically is on your wrist like a watch. And when you hit that panic button, it makes, I think it said, 120 decibels like standing in front of the speaker at a rock concert, which as a longtime music fan, I always recommend. I always wear earplugs at concerts. Sidebar. And it also blasts out messages to your important emergency contacts. So again, this doesn't even just have to be for female joggers. Hell, I might want one of these at some point too. These are the kind of things, again, this didn't come from some massive corporation. This came from a couple and the dude accidentally foiled what he thinks was maybe going to be an assault. The dude literally ran into the guy and foiled the thing. So they worked for years creating this new jogger alarm. I also learned this morning from my buddy Rich of TragedyandHope.com that our colleague Paul Verge of Divergent Films, who you've seen us talk to in years past, the last time I guess it's probably been well over a year, we talked about House of Cards on an episode of Navigating Netflix, aka Deep Focus. He's got a new venture and it's a smart one, as, as a lot of people I told you, you know, I used to work in the in the grocery store and I've made big food changes thanks to the help of my wife Cassie over this last decade plus. Paul Verge has gotten into the food biz and he's gotten together with a group of people to create organic chocolate snacks called Life Bites. Now I've not actually tried them, this is not a paid endorsement, I just heard about it. And when I hear about cool new things my friends are creating on their own, I'm excited about it. I want to share it. That's pretty much a lot of what I've done throughout my life. I'm excited about sharing news, music and news and information. And if it's delicious, organic, well-made chocolate snacks that are made by my friends independently, all the better. There is an article from Zero Hedge, and that's how we wrap up this episode. And that's how we kind of get our title. Solutions abound to crush the crony to cartels. And it is decentralized and it is local. And that's how it's going to happen. If you've been watching the show or been listening to our latest Morning Monarchy episodes, or also the daily DJ sets at noon, I do two live hour broadcasts each and every day, Monday through Friday. You can listen to all that at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. And you don't even have to be a subscriber or supporter. You can get all that stuff for free. Now, we can't do this without your support. As I've said a million times, I quit my commercial radio job two summers ago to make Media Monarchy my full-time job. And I need your support to continue to do this. So I hope you'll always go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and pick the best way that you can give us a little so we can continue to give a lot. I do want to work on some subscriber-only benefits behind the scenes. As of now, the only thing you don't get if you're not a subscriber is our monthly newsletter. I'd like to work on some other things, maybe a regular hangout for subscribers that we could all meet up and chat. All those things are really exciting, and we're only going to do it if we leave the hate and we leave the division and we leave the rah, 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 Trump and rah, 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 and hate and air this and that. None of that's going to work. That's how the Rockefellers have kept us divided and conquered. Oh, they'll give us a little precious dime and we'll go about our merry way. That shit isn't going to work anymore. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here. And as you, like I was going to say, if you've been listening and watching to these shows lately, you know we've got some family health emergencies. My wife's been out of town for weeks. It sucks. 
I'm trying to hold it together. I know she's got it way worse trying to deal with health emergencies with her family. So I'm trying to stay strong here so I can be strong for her. And again, that's an, that's an analogy and an allegory for all our other situations. And if you don't take care of yourself internally, how are you ever going to be able to share that help? So this is a very impromptu, winging it episode of Good News Next Week. I just wanted to come out here and talk to you out on the porch. And again, it's not the big, sunny, beautiful day I had hoped and thought it was going to be. I guess that's what I get for still being up in the Pacific Northwest. But spring is already springing. And I can see the crocuses and I can see those lilies already starting to bloom and already starting to sprout up out of the ground. And that's exciting and that makes you feel good. So let that idea kind of move us forward. I'd love to hear from you. You can always reach out to me, James, at MediaMonarchy.com. I'm on Skype as Media Monarchy. I'm on Wire as Media Monarchy. And, of course, on the tweets, that's probably our most active place as well. We appreciate you being here. And thank you so much. Again, this is Good News Next Week, Episode 46. For the first day of spring and the week of March 20th, 2017, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening and reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media. Become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.